it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and in today's short and sweet video tutorial, I am going to show you how to hide or disable a product on your Squarespace website. So if you're using Squarespace's commerce platform to host your online shop or store, this is a really good tutorial for you and you're gonna get something out of it. So in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you like how to hide or disable a product. I'll show you how to like re-enable it when you're ready to use it. And we're also gonna be talking about the SEO implications of doing this, because this is something that's definitely worth um, considering. So before we dive into the actual tutorial bit, I want to quickly show you that I have a Squarespace SEO checklist. And this is a one page download that you might find really helpful, whether you're starting out with Squarespace SEO or you've maybe been at this a little while and you wanna make sure that you're checking all of the boxes off. Um, I'm linking to it down below so you can grab it. It's just a really quick one page checklist that will make sure that you're on the right track. All right, with that being said, let's dive into the tutorial now. Okay, so first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is obviously log into the back end of your Squarespace website. And then there's a couple different ways you can access all of the products that we're gonna be testing this functionality out on. So the probably the best way to do it would be like from your main dashboard, you can just click on inventory and then that's going to show you all of the products that you have here. But another way that you might wanna do it is accessing it through the products page. So in the back end of the Squarespace, you can go to pages, and then, come on, there we go. <laughs> Pages, and then scroll down to your product page. Hold on, my mouse is not working. And then you'll see all of your products, uh, your inventory listed here. So it's kind of, you know, like two things, two ways to do it. So in terms of actually hiding or like disabling a product, you just open any of them up. I'm gonna show you here. And down here, there's a section that says hidden. That's because I've done the hidden section. But basically, you're just gonna click that and you can just decide whether you want it to be visible currently um, or hidden. So if it, the default is gonna be that it's visible to start with, and then you're just gonna click on the hidden button. And that's how you're gonna have this um, listing in your online store that still exists, but it's not actually like live to someone. So this is really helpful in some cases, like for example, let me just go through a few examples of when you might want to use this, is like for me, I sell a master class, which I teach live, and I do it at several points during the year. And so instead of like completely recreating a brand new item in my online shop for it, I just hide it so that when I'm not using it, it's not visible, and then I can just enable it whenever I'm ready to. And, you know, some other examples, I'm just going to discard that, you know, whether I'm using, um, you know, some programs that I host on Squarespace and if I launch them periodically through the year, then I want to make sure that I'm, you know, not having them available for purchase when it's not happening as a live event. So those are some cases of like when you might want to hide a product, but, you know, you can completely play around with it to meet your own needs. And then once you've got your item hidden, Whenever you're ready to enable it again, it's really simple. You're just gonna open the product back up again and then switch it to be visible and then save it, of course, when you're done. So that's how you hide or disable a product and then re-enable it when you're ready to. And one quick thing I wanna say is that even when you hide it, there are some SEO implications because it doesn't completely hide it from search engines in public view. So in theory, like it's, it's unlikely, but it still could show up that hidden product in a search result. Again, it's unlikely, but it's something to keep in mind. So if you absolutely do not want it to show up at all, then you're gonna to need to delete the item entirely from your online store or online shop. So something to keep in mind there. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Just a quick reminder again that you can grab the Squarespace SEO checklist, which I've linked to down below. It's really, really helpful whether you're starting out or you just wanna make sure that you're on the right path. Um, I have a lot of other video tutorials here on my YouTube channel. So if you're interested in Squarespace SEO, website design and development, growing your website, getting more traffic, all that sorts of things, you might enjoy the other video tutorials. Um, you can also take a look at my website, which is charlotteohara.ca, and I have lots more resources, content, um, items that will support you in all of your efforts with your Squarespace website, so take a look. And last but not least, if you like this video tutorial, you can give it a thumbs up, a like, a comment, and I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again in another video. Bye now.